All right, a really quick video for your TI Inspire CAS CX. How to change your settings on your calculator. This is really important. If you're taking trig or you're taking calculus, most of your measurements will be done in radians and not in degrees. However, they may, question to question, may switch. So let's just make sure that, that we're able to switch from radians to degrees, etc. So here we go. What I'm going to do is just, here's, this, here's your screen. I'm going to go to the home screen. I'm going to go over to settings. From settings, we want settings here. Oh, sorry, settings here, general. And then we're just going to go through. This is float value. And it means how many decimal places to the right will your calculator figure for you? Yes. Here, angle in radians. <clears throat> you can choose radian degree or gradient real or complex solutions so if you're taking a test and you're asked for all real solutions of course you want it in real but sometimes you're going to want complex solutions so you go here etc vertex uh, I'm sorry vector format base decimal etc and after you make these changes if you find that hey mostly I'm I'm using my calculator in radians then you can make that your default all right so I hope that's helpful for how to change this. If you have any questions about when or why you would change your, your settings, I would be glad to entertain that question. But for now, that is just how you do it. And one thing I would say is read the questions that are posed to you very carefully and see what they are, how they're asked to you. And if it says take something out to however many decimal places, then you can come right to your calculator and, and set your float value out to that as long as it doesn't exceed, I think, eight, spa eight places. All right? So I hope this was helpful, you guys, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Please do.